Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. I'm Jess, if you're meeting for the first time, I've been channeling almost all of my life and for those of you guys that have been hanging out with me and have been on the receiving end of my messages, yo, welcome back. It is always such a blessing and honor to have another moment with you here, defying all time and space and distance just to come together and be able to connect right now. So as promised, you guys, I have been telling you that there have been some major messages that have been coming through lately, things that I have even been not ready to share which is so selfish and so irresponsible of me, but as I said in my other video, that I've been a bit disobedient when the divine has been coming through and being like, this needs to go out, this needs to go out, and I'm just like dragging my feet. So I take full accountability on that because that is definitely a me problem. <laughs> but yeah, I'm working through it with the divine. I've got my own reasons for that, but um, the divine knows. The divine knows. <laughs> the divine knows. I'm just letting you know right now. So there have been, like I said, a lot of messages coming through. This is my notebook. I've been writing everything down. Um, so don't mind me, but I want to read to you what I wrote because this was a few days ago and it feels like it's still impacting us now. And by us, I mean the collective. Before I dive into this reading, though, I really do want to set an intention and put the energy out there that you use your discernment. I call in your angels, your guides, my angels, my guides, to protect every single one of us individually as we receive these messages right now. If it is for you, let it be for you and let it be a blessing. If it's for you, I, I call in the discernment, the clarity to know that exactly what this message means for you and exactly where it is that needs to be applied. I also set the intention that you have the space in your life in order to bring these messages or any type of conversation or communication that now and forever, that you have the space to, to actually have that convo with the divine, with your angels and your guides, because that is so necessary, it's so needed. It's one thing to be an oracle or have access to an oracle and be able to talk to them um, or a medium and hear what it is that they have to say. It's another thing to be developing your own relationship with the divine. So my intention now today is that every single one of you, if you're on this YouTube channel now, if you're listening, if you're vibing with me, if you're receiving anything that I could ever say that you are also being very um, focused and prioritizing your own relationship with your angels, your guides, and the divine above all. And how you define the divine, that's up to you, whether you call it God, goddess, um, div the divine, like I say, whatever it is, whatever floats your boat. So now that we put that out there, I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. So what I wrote down was trust your vibe, trust your energy, be vigilant because this feels like a setup. This feels like a setup. And as I say it, I still, the biggest part of me wants to put a blanket over my head as I say that and just be like, yeah, this is where I exit. Part of this is because I don't like getting involved in outside energies. As soon as I feel like the energy is off, I remove myself. I don't really, I don't need to apologize for that. I don't need to explain it. I separate myself from that. So it's tough for me to come in, feel this strong message that is that I'm feeling, and then advise the world or advise someone who's receiving on my YouTube channel when my natural reaction is to be like, yeah, so this is where I back out. You know what I mean? So there, I do want to put that out there that this is one of the reasons why there's been a hesitation because I feel, I've been feeling this really strong sense of a setup and there was layers to this. Um, I, I did write my notes, but I want to make sure that I'm getting these main parts because I, I remember that I didn't write everything down. Someone here is getting is being set up by something from someone who doesn't know that they're setting someone up. And that sounds really wild, but that is going to so show you how spiritually interesting and like I, I don't want to say defiled, but there's a lot of energy out there in our world right now where people are just they're not really asking questions, they're just absorbing whether that be a message, whether that be energy, whether that be whatever, they're just taking it and just take applying it to their life and never filtering it, never questioning it. They just take, they are consuming. So if you are a spiritual person and we are in very spiritually sensitive times and this friend, this family member, this person, 
this connection has is bringing their own energies that they've absorbed not only in this moment but the moments building up leading up to before they reached you how do you know that their energy is not coming from a place that is balanced healthy or has good intention for you if if someone is not spiritually practicing discernment or doesn't have good spiritual hygiene or hygiene in their regular life that that muck that energy can influence and pull them into places where they will say things, react to certain things, and point the finger at you or try to draw you in. And that's the other thing that has been really spiritually unsettling for me is the level of instability that is happening that I can see in the energy. And that's one of the reasons why I've, one of the many reasons why I've been very disconnected or not intentionally trying to come on and force my way through you know, the world right now, I've really been slowing down and prioritizing my own time because there's a lot that, you know, many of us do not need to be involved in, showing up for, engaging in. We are not meant to have an answer. We're not meant to. Why? It's not because we're not meant to help and heal each other, but a lot of people, they may be asking for healing or asking for help or asking for advice or asking for your opinion or asking for you to engage, to spend time with them. And they are asking, for, what they're asking for is not what they actually want. What they are asking for is not actually what they want. And when you are honoring your path and when you're honoring your healing, when you're honoring your journey, you immediately find that you irritate them along their path and somehow it gets muddled and you should not be inter in, in, entangled in that by any means necessary, by any means, like no. So when I say that this situation feels like a setup, what really concerns me, and one of the reasons why I've been dragging my feet coming on here, because as soon as I see this, I literally am just like, no, I'm not here for this. Um, but what really concerns me is that the setup, these people don't even realize, or this person doesn't even realize that they are being, their inspiration to talk to you or engage in you is not coming from a pleasant or positive place or a healthy place or a healed place. What they want from you is not something that is good, right, balanced, pure. I don't know how else to say it. Um, on the flip side, it does feel like someone here actually knows exactly what they're doing, but they're so lost in their ego or so lost in their conviction that they may sense that what they're doing is invasive or wrong or not the right time or not the right moment or not the right person, and yet they continue to show up and push and push and push and push. It's very like, I deserve this, I need this, I'm getting this, and it's coming from you, and if it doesn't come from you, then I'm going to attack you, or I'm going to set you up. And that leads me to the next part of this. I'm even... <laughs> okay, so... I wrote down, it feels like a trap situation. They're baiting you to walk into something knowing that it is setting you up to fail or to be harmed in some way. I literally feel malicious energy around this person. And that's the thing that I need to say that I, it's not that I necessarily feel that this person's intention is malicious. It's the spirit that inspired this person to ask you for this certain thing, to require something of you, to gain. There's something about the spirit that is around them or that there is on to them or something and I I okay um I wrote down I also feel like specifically there is a concern with who you are sharing your feelings with sharing information with they want to prove you wrong make you look stupid this will stun you this uh, I wrote down that this will stun you because where this this energy will sh be like, why? Like, if you're a good person, if you have good intention, if you're focusing on you, if you're focusing on your family, if you're focusing on your health, your peace of mind, your joy, your friends, your life, your mind doesn't even think how, why would this per like, your brain doesn't even think to go to this place and yet this person is living in it. So it will stun you how much how irritated their spirit is because you're not even on that same playing field. But there's something to be said for people who show up, who focus, 
who keep their minds right, their aura clear, and then you cross paths with someone who recognizes that light, sees that purity, feels like they need to have access to it, feels like they have something to gain, feels like they need to muddle it in some way. There's something to be said for humanity that sees something sacred and then tries to soil it. You cannot tell me, you cannot tell me that that is not a, a thing that happens, that that is not true. Even in the best of us, it, it happens, it happens, but there's one thing to see it, to recognize it within your spirit, within yourself, and work to change it. It's another thing to allow that spirit, that malicious energy, to overtake you, to overwhelm you, and to then manipulate you to choices and decisions, and then you're creating chaos wherever you go, or discomfort, or or evil, like it genuinely, and again, it will stun you. It will stun you who this is coming from. I don't even like, I mean, I'm going to move forward with the rest of this, but also for some of you guys, you have been really called a lot lately to, to remove people from your circle or show up for me personally, I've been showing up, I've been doing my work, but I don't engage in dysfunction. I prioritize the divine at the end of the day. So I keep my eyes focused on that and that keeps me spiritually strong and stable. Halt. At the end of the day, though, I am human, though, and I, like I said at the very beginning of this video, like, sometimes I rebel, and sometimes I'm disobedient, and sometimes I just, for my own personal reasons, I'm just like, listen, I know that I'm supposed to do this, but for the next week, <laughs> I'll say today, but it ends up being like a week or two weeks, I won't do it. I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, so I get it, but I there's this energy, though, of just being totally stunned where this where this person is coming from. It could be someone who originally had good intentions for you that you might have invited into your life, but the more that they are getting comfortable in your life, the more, or the mo even if it's a good person, their spirit is getting triggered by something or irritated by something or there's something on them that they picked up on that they are aware that it's not, they're not their same self, but they're not doing anything to rectify it. They're not doing anything to cleanse themselves of it. And that's a problem. This could be a family member. This could be your mother. This could be a, a, a girlfriend. This could be a client. This could be a stranger. This could be your boyfriend or your girlfriend. You would be surprised where this is coming from. Um, oh, so Spirit then said, try not to be so hard on yourself with a little heart there. Um, you were born with intuition, inner hunches, but also you are still developing. Oh, this was a second message. Yeah, this is a second. Oh, Sorry, I'm reading from another message that came up. Okay, there's some... That's another video that's coming. That's way more positive than this one, believe me. Way more, I promise you. Okay. There's someone who wishes to pull, pull off of you. They're waiting for you to say something. It's like they're waiting for you to say the wrong thing. They're waiting for... Maybe they're waiting for a response from you, and they're pulling. Their energy is pulling on you. And for whatever reason, you're just like, I'm backing off. For some of you guys, you're fixers or you're healers or you see something, you're nurturers. So when you see some someone suffering, it's in your nature to go to help. The divine is like, hands off. Hands off here. Do not touch. Do not engage. Disconnect. Again, for some of you guys, you've been spiritually led and guided to remove yourself even from certain friendships groups or certain pockets of people. You did your work, you showed up, whatever, but you're being called into, or some of you guys are blocking certain energy. For those, there is the bait, meaning like a good thing, something to look forward to and the blessing that will come from the fact that you blocked, but also keep in mind that that person's spirit is irritated. And by you blocking them, knowing fully well that they should not have access to you, but that's in the, if that's if they're in the highest vibration that they could possibly be at the lowest vibration they feel like you owe them something that how dare you like you do not leave i need you i paid for this you're my girlfriend there's an expectation there there's this addiction this really toxic twisted addiction and even as i said that I, i'm just like so grateful too that like and this will irritate someone's spirit, the fact that I would even say something like this. But I'm so happy that I have my home because I I protect my home. I have a force. My mom taught me how to put crystals in the ground to create, you know, to make sure that energy cannot come in in my space. And, 
you know, I have grass and I can go to the grass, I can go to the earth and I can ground myself and just be like, uh uh. And that's exactly what I'm going to do after this. But uh, having said that, where can you go? Where have you been going to? Where have you been drawn to go to to cleanse this energy off of you? And it's, it's just, it's even just passing this person or having a conversation or a text message or whatever the case is, it, it has, spirit is literally like, there are places where you have a good heart or where I will lead you to have a good heart and to help this person to show up for this person, but this is not that place and this is not that time and this is not your instruction. Your instruction is to remove yourself from the situation completely, be aware that it is here, that it exists. And that as soon as the energy shifts, changes, gets has that friction in it, like you say something and someone bristles up or you, you look at someone, you make eye contact with someone, but the way that they're looking at you, it's like there's something there that wants to like feast on your soul. I don't even know how to describe it to you, but when you know it, you'll know. It will be their eye contact. It will be their energy. It'll be what they say, but more importantly, what they're not saying because there's something being hidden here. There's a hidden agenda, a hidden motive. It's not the vibe. Also, for some of you guys, this is not going to be for everyone. For some of you guys, um, literally, if you are spiritually sensitive right now, specifically, this is a very specific message, asthma, cancer, like your body, right? Asthma, cancer, blood things, blood disorders, those types of things, anything that would make you vulnerable. I don't know why, but the divine and your angels and your guys, is, or, or if you're pregnant, um, the divine has a, a really strong level of protection during this time for people who are susceptible to illnesses, viruses, um, conditions of the body that would would weaken you, like temporarily weaken you. Um, and also just know that you are hands on deck. Like I've, I've been getting this really strong sense that cancer diagnosis, things like that, like things that really temporarily totally cripple the physical body of highly spiritually seeking people. It's all hands on deck on you. The divine angels and guides, Archangel Michael, the level of like support and healing is so strong around you. Know that, know that, like know that, know that, really know that that is your reality right now because you are being poured into I, it's something specific about that right now. You guys are getting everything when it comes to healing and protection. It's wild. So if you're in the hospital or if you're in recovery or if you're making trips to take care of yourself, spirit is infusing in, into you and you're going to be feeling it if you haven't already. A level of strength that defies human odds that is really helping to lift you up. You'll, you'll look at yourself and be like, how did I do that? You'll look back and you'll say, how do I do that? And you'll know... It could have only come from a, a spiritual place, like a spiritually strong space, because your angels and your guides and these archangels are lifting you up. Call it in. If you don't believe it, if you don't feel it, if you don't sense it, call it in. You'll you'll be no, you'll know. The next thing that came through was I wrote down. I have a vision of Ariel from The Little Mermaid when she was to kiss the prince. And the wildlife was looking and waiting with their own hopes and expectations of what would happen. Um, there were those that watched with hopeful eyes and those that were watching because they wanted to see her fail and their intention was to pull them apart. Having that, oh, even having that focus so strongly on you isn't good either way, whether it's good or bad. So I strongly suggest reversal, protection, prayer, and setting intention for invisibility to some extent. Okay. So as I'm saying this now, I'm getting this strong sense to kind of like put my head down and to lean into the feminine side. So this is Spirit's way for me personally of saying that, Jess, you delivered the message. It's time to rest. I have been working on astrology charts all of the last month. <laughs> um, I've also been working on, ac uh, I'm sorry, acupuncture is my mother. She's been... Um, she, her and I actually just merged, so that's exciting news, but her and I just merged our medicine together. Um, I put that on my website for those of you guys that are local to Tampa, Florida area, St. St. Pete, Clearwater, um, up and down the East Coast, and 
you know, around that. So there's that. There's also going to be retreats specifically for my feminine energies out there that have been really needing community. We're, we're working on classes, number one, but also full moon and new moon rituals, <laughs> which I'm just so excited about. It's so full circle too. This is probably not the video. As I'm saying it too, I'm like, this is not the video to talk, <laughs> to talk about this right now. It's definitely not, but that's why. But I said acupuncture and that's where that came from. But moving forward, I'll, I'll have more information on that coming for you guys. But I have been working very, very, very hard on Jupiter in Taurus transit readings. Um, I am taking my time. I am not busting my ass like I did in the past. I'm in my 30s now and I've, I'm pivoting in a, a major, I've already pivoted into a major uh, change in direction in my life. I'm honoring that. Um, I ask that others honor that as well, especially if you're waiting for something from me. Be patient, be kind, be considerate. Know that um, I'm doing my best and I'm not, I cannot stress out during this season of my life. It's very important that we, we maintain and that we are thriving and we maintain that level of thrivation. I'm not sacrificing that for anything right now. And if you know, you know. If you understand, you understand. Um, but having said that, guys, um, rest. Rest, please, please. Um, looking at the charts, that's one thing. I can see the tension in the charts, but when I connect every single day, when I ground, when I center, when I connect with collect collective conscious and get myself prepared for how I'm gonna show up for the world today, what that's gonna look like, the overarching energy is to be very, very easy on yourself. Really lean into feminine energy. I, I just put a video up on that on my YouTube channel, so I'll probably I'll link it down below. But of course, you can also search it, Bahati Life Feminine, Divine Feminine Energy. There is a huge shift in that right now. And if you fight that, you're, you're fighting blessings, you're fighting your health, you're fighting abundance, you're fighting your peace. This is not the time in history to show up and overly be expelling your energy, spilling it left and right. It doesn't matter if you have higher goals for yourself, which those things will be achieved, I promise you, but lean into that divine feminine. It doesn't matter if you've made a mistake and you're trying to fix it, it's okay, you're human, mistakes happen. That's another message that needs to come up that I've been really, I've been channeling and downloading like crazy, you guys, to the point where I actually feel like there's gonna be a change in my YouTube channel. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. It's insane how much I've been pulling. And it'll be the most random, so I've just been walking around with my notebook. This is not my first note, this is not my first notebook, you guys. This is like number three. I've been like, writing them down um but anyways literally guys please rest even if i receive even if you're receiving this message now if you could just take like a 20 minute 30 minute nap lay your head down and rest before you do that pray and ask for protection guidance discernment clarity and then rest allow yourself to receive while you rest while you rest while you rest ask for what you need and then rest ask for protection and then rest 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 it's okay it is okay. It is okay. It is okay. It is good. It is okay for you to rest. So I'm sending you guys all my love. Thank you so much for hanging out with me once again. Again, I'm sending the intention that you receive this with perfect divine timing. May it reach you at the moment that it was meant to and not a moment before and not a moment after. Um, and of course, I will see you guys maybe in my next channel or my, I'm sorry, my next YouTube video. But also if you're someone who was called to come in and to go out, to receive this message and to flow out. Blessings, like literally blessings and protection over you. For real. Okay? And maybe we'll meet again in another life or another moment. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye.